Hi everyone, it's Jasmine of The Soap Butler here to share with you just a bit more information about some more uh, herbal extracts that we can add to our soap and that we're making at home to make it even more relevant and, and um, helpful to our skincare needs as well as our aromatherapies. Now today's plant doesn't necessarily help with aromatherapy as it does kind of have just a, a bland um, kind of earth tone to it, but it does have some great effects on the skin. So let's uh, not delay and share what we're talking about is the milk thistle. Let me see if I can get you a picture without that glow in it. Uh, how's that? Let's see. So that's the milk thistle. There it is. Beautiful flower. Notice the white in the center of it. So there's a legend that goes along with this. Back in medieval times, uh, it was thought that the white spot was actually the Virgin Mary's uh, mother's milk that spilled onto the flower. And ever since that happened, it's had this, uh, this white spot. And because they believe that plants' uh, remedies should kind of reflect what they look like because it looked like a milk spot. It was used to uh, aid in the uh, flow of the mother's milk, uh, nursing mothers to uh, get the, the milk to come down. So that is what was going on medicinally with milk thistle for ages and ages, over 2000 years before it became more popular. It was native to the Mediterranean area and then moved on to, it's very popular, popularly grown in California now because it kind of reflects um, the uh, conditions of the, the areas that it likes to grow. It, it can be found in a lot of places, but it definitely has a longer history in, in um, those parts of Europe. Now, you may have heard of milk thistle as a, uh, a food uh, in the health food area for a, uh, a supplement like flaxseed, and it can be added directly to your smoothies and, and taken straight away, but it also has some other miraculous effects. Um, so if you add it to your soap, it does help to moist, moisturize your skin as well as generates new cells. So that's terrific, but you might need maybe to add some orange uh, aroma or something like that to get a, a sweet smell because it does just have kind of that sharp, spicy um, smell for, for the milk thistle itself. But that doesn't take away from all the great benefits it does have because it was considered a vegetable and uh, kind of like asparagus. You could eat the whole thing. So uh, that's to be um, taken into consideration also. Germany still uses it in that way. One of the, uh, one of the mentions is, is for Germany still using it as that vegetable. But, you know, the body produces all kinds of toxins and uh, the milk thistle apparently helps to aid in in uh, reducing a lot of those toxins when it comes to liver, spleen, kidney, and jaundice too. And uh, sometimes when you have too much acetaminophen in your, your system, like from taking Tylenol, it also helps combat that. It's also recommended for viral hepatitis and um, chronic liver disease, cirrhosis. So all great things to to know about the milk thistle. Uh, it does help with gallbladder um, issues as well. And uh, let's see, it does also help to uh, boost the effects of certain types of, of uh, chemotherapy. So that's to be considered too, if you're going through treatments like that, it could definitely help you there. And it helps to prevent uh, ultraviolet damage to the skin, which is another great reason to add it to your soap. So it doesn't really have any, any precautions to note as it is deemed to be safe, safe uh, for the most part. It doesn't have any real setbacks to it or dietary uh, reservations. So add milk, milk thistle. Let me know what your recipes are and we will be happy to share them with uh, anyone who's interested in making their soap at home. 
So please visit our site, soapmyway.com, and we'll see you again next time around. That's all the time we have. Thanks for sharing yours. Have a great day. Go green, save green.